I bought this little device on AliExpress. I'm gonna open it up now. It's pretty well packaged, I suppose. It's uh, like a bubble wrap. Um, let's see. It is for my backpack. I do a lot of bicycling and I've wanted to carry extra things in my backpack and I figure a little hook like this will let me carry like extra grocery bags or whatever. So it's packaged within a package. Uh, yeah, I got this on AliExpress. And it's a double, what would you call it, a double-ended caliper, I suppose? I'll plan to put the, the correct information in the description. I can figure out how to open this. Is it sealed? Oh. It is. Okay, there we go. Womp womp. It's like a, well, that's a good quality stuff. It is dark olive green, olive drab. These are plastic, but it's like a sturdy plastic, metal. Some sort of metal with a spring system or something. Okay, well, that one's a little bit more stiff. I think I'll put that one on the backpack end and this one on the end where I, you know, attach a bag because it's a little easier there. And this is, seems a little, quite a bit harder, but it's, you know, it's sturdy. It's good. It feels good. I don't see a lot of loose strings. You can see those three, the sewing points where they sewed here, here, and here to keep it together really well. Okay. Looks pretty good. So, yeah, I figured what I'll do is I've, I've got a backpack with a molly system on the back. I can clip one end. Yeah, probably that end to the uh, backpack. This end, if I need to, I can hang groceries or something. Or just, you know, whatever. Hang something on it and it'll hang on my backpack. That way when I'm bicycling, I don't have to hold it in my hand. Because if you've ever ridden a bicycle with a bag, it tends to, you know, get drawn towards the spokes. And then you flip head over heels like I've done before. And I had just bought a book um, for my uh, cousin. I bought a book and... The bag went into the spokes, chewed it all up, and I went flying. So, yeah, none of that. So, this is great. This was, I believe, 95 cents? It's either 95 or 91. If not, I'll write it in the in the uh, subtitle above, or below. But, uh, well worth it, I would say. This is going to be great. So, um, if you'd like to buy one, I bought it on AliExpress.com, and I'll provide the link in the description i don't really know what these little ridges are for just maybe style but yeah it's a pretty good little device thanks for watching hello if you're watching this video it could be that you found it on your own or it could be that someone sent to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel the gospel is pretty simple some verses that can be used for the gospel are like romans 3:23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2.8 and 9, for instance, says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19-20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3.16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 9-10 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. 
For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So, if you want, you can pray, and, you know, if God's leading you to pray and repent and accept Christ as the Savior, then you can be saved.